Let me begin by a quote from Peter Drucker, a renowned American management guru. Quality in a product or service is not what the supplier puts in; it is what the customer gets out and is willing to pay for. Some time back, we defined service management as an effective and efficient process-driven management of transforming IT resources into valuable IT services. Let me explain this further by means of a diagram. As you can see in this diagram, it emphasizes the link that has to be preserved between the desired business outcomes and the services that service management is responsible for. So, what do we mean by capabilities, resources, and other terms used in the graphic? Capabilities are the functions and processes used to manage services. Capabilities are intangible assets of an organization and cannot be purchased, but have to be developed and matured over time. Resources is a generic term that includes IT infrastructure, people, money, or anything else that might help to deliver an IT service. Resources are the tangible assets of the organization. Resources and capability put together constitute the service assets. For example, email as a service. The organization say, Google providing this service needs to have some hardware like servers, routers, switches, to relay emails, and software like Gmail to let users read their emails. These are example of assets. They also need a capable team to manage their assets and the money required to procure these assets. But if Google's customers don't know how to get this email service, all of these assets go to waste. So how to get an email account? How to maintain it? Where to go for support if any issues occur are some of the critical underlying elements of delivering email service. These methods are called processes. We will touch on them in a little while, but before that, let me explain two more terms: performance and value. Performance is a measure of what is achieved or delivered by a system, person, team, process, or IT service. From our email as a service example, effective use by all users, number of mails delivered to the intended recipient, etc. Are part of the performance measure of email service, and value is a measure of the return on investment or benefits to the business. So, going back to our example of email as a service, in older days, messaging used to happen through paper memos. If somebody had to convey a message, they would get it in typewritten on a piece of paper. And then a career service would deliver it to the recipient. At some point in time, organizations realized the constraints that method of message delivery had on the organizational capability to deliver to its customers. Luckily for them, somebody realized the constraints and invented email, which has since then revolutionized the messaging capabilities of the organizations. The result of using this service allowed businesses and organizations to spread across geographies. It has also contributed to faster decision making and execution due to speedier flow of information, and ultimately contributes to a greater revenues and profits for the business or the organization. For the business or the organization, or in other words, it has enhanced the business outcomes.